Oh, good morning. Yeah, well, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, get my, uh, get all my thickened epoxy and do the fillets around here, go around there, everything, so we get a nice round transition to put our, uh, our woven uh, fiberglass here. It's time to get up. And what I'm also going to do is I've drilled this. I'm going to take this piece of uh, PVC and I'm going to put right in here to where that doesn't block that hole. I don't know if I'll take it back out when I'm done or I'll just leave it in there. I, I really don't know that, that there's going to be any kind of chemical reaction if I leave it in there. I'll have to check on that. I don't think there'll be a problem if it was just left in, but. I'll check into it and get back with you on that. But uh, my plan for today is make some uh, thickened epoxy. I'm going to use some chopped strand and, uh, or not the chopped strand, but the chopped fiber, and I'm going to put it in there and, and uh, get some mixed up, and we'll go from there. All right, here we go. We got it all thickened up, all mixed up. I did it to mix the hard way. Next time I'm not going to do it that way. But, uh, I mean, you can see we got the uh, consistency of peanut butter. I'd have to take two applications here and get this thing right. Well. Next batch I mix, I'm not going to put as much chopped fiber. I had that in there. It's, uh, I thought a little did a little good. Uh, some more would be all better, but actually that more was, we probably should have stuck what we had originally. So that's it. This Okay, this batch here I did different. I took and put my 500 milliliters of uh, resin in there. I put my uh, five ounces of the uh, chop in there and my uh, catalyst in, the MEKP, and then I hit it with that drill and it mixed a perfect, in my opinion. So we'll see, we'll see how perfect, perfect is, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, some of this in here first. I was going to put that plug in, but I'm not right a minute. This, this here is much better. It's, uh, I think I had the other one with too much fiber in it, and it was too rich with fiber. This is, uh, I didn't mean to drop the whole thing out there, but now that's out. Came and knock it down on the putty knife. I 
I don't want to get too thick all at once. I'm afraid to get too hot. And I think that's what I was <coughs> doing before. Trying to get too thick. Next, <coughs> next what I'm going to make, I'm not going to put as much of that fiber in. That's I still think we're too much. I think I'm gonna make up some thickened with no nothing in it and see if I can't squish my uh, thing. And I was gonna do it this time, but I remembered I didn't have the plug in out there. And the uh, last time I cleaned it all out of the threads and I didn't, I didn't care for that later. What I did is I forgot to screw the plug in. So I'll do that. <laughs> I ain't very good with that one glove. Because I think somebody's already got famous with one glove, so my luck's out of that. Alright. I'm gonna try this. I guess I'm just going to try to get some on it. Right, I got it seated where I want it. Now I'm going to just try to work it in. What you think? Probably the same thing I was thinking. How's that for a gum? You know what they say? The word of the day that's fun to say. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Bye.